CLT, clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. We have no unexpected errors, clearing the caution warning. And the beanie cap now being retracted. Caution warning is clear. Topping off of the fuel cells has been terminated. Close and lock your visors and initiate OT flow. Best wishes on your mission to service the International Space Station. Copy that. We're on our way to the station and we'd like to say thanks to everybody who has made Atlantis and us ready for launch. See you in about a week and a half. DLS is go for ETLH2 pressurization. One minute, 30 seconds. Sound suppression water system now being armed. Minus one minute of counting. Solid rocket booster joint heater is now being turned off. And solid rocket booster flight data recorders are activated. Final check of the solid rocket booster steering commands now underway. T-minus 31 seconds, the handoff to Atlantis' computers has occurred. 45 seconds. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, main engine start, 4, 3, 2, one and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, a space shuttle for the 21st century. Houston is now controlling the flight of Atlantis. Roger roll, Atlantis. The roll maneuver is complete. Atlantis is now in a heads down, wings level position, headed toward a rendezvous with the International Space Station. Twenty-eight seconds into the flight, Atlantis's engines are now throttling down to 72% of rated thrust as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Atlantis currently at an altitude of 3.6 miles, about two and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. All systems on board are performing well. Atlantis, go ahead, throttle up. Atlantis's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Atlantis now at an altitude of nine miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at six miles. Atlantis traveling now at a speed of about 1,600 miles per hour at an altitude of 14 miles and downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 10 and a half miles. All systems on board are continuing to perform well. One minute and 48 seconds into the flight, Atlantis now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 22 miles at an altitude of 24 miles. The next major event will be the burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. A booster officer confirms good separation of the two solid rocket boosters. 
Atlantis now at an altitude of 34 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 42 miles, 2 minutes and 25 seconds into powered flight. Atlantis, two-engine tail. Copy, two-engine tail. 